my understanding that in the South Island, that, that uh, conflict is not there anymore. It's actually in the Mid Island. But part of the mandate for the Island Rail Corridor is that it has to be the entire system, Comox to Victoria, Parksville to Port Alberni, or none. Yeah. Has it been revisited, the idea of doing something that's CRD only? And again, even to bring the trains into Vic West, that creates a possibility for a transit hub or other services to bring people around into the downtown area. Yeah, I, I think I think that is going to remain a feature in the South Island transportation. It, it does require more more study. It is listed as a long term priority. Um, I don't have any plans to amend that. I, I, I'm I'm open to having a, a hard look at that. But I also think we need to go back to discussions around LRT connections along the most dense, busy corridors that are fast expanding that connect major employment centers. Uh, like uh, Victoria General Hospital and others and uh, get into the heart of uh, what is quickly becoming known as downtown Langford. We've got this, our government is studying uh, an expansion of post-secondary education, uh, looking at uh, moving uh, some public service operations out to the West Shore. Uh, the growth is gonna be there. Um, the studies show that uh, Highway 1 is uh, you know, responsible for at least 60% of the destinations that originate in the West Shore. So, I think there's a reason why that alignment is identified as strategic. Of course, anything that's going to decentralize any of that government operation from downtown, if it's going to migrate to the suburbs, there has to be something in place to populate those properties as well. Because commerce in the CB central business district relies on those people being in offices, which is one of the problems that we've had, of course, through the entire pandemic. So yeah. we will make the statement that we hope there is some consideration given for those spaces to keep them occupied. I think, that, I think that goes back to, you, to the earlier question about having a transportation authority. In my view, the most uh, important thing about it is not having the perfect weighted voting scheme in a region of 13 municipalities. The most important thing is to align transportation infrastructure investments uh, with land use planning. Uh, so we've got a major uh, study uh, just uh, about to emerge in the Fraser Valley. They have 140 kilometers of rail segments there that could be Part of a different way, a 21st century way of commuting in the Fraser Valley, uh, using those integrated transportation and land development principles here in the region um, should really be the major factor uh, around a governance change, unlocking that potential and possibility. Mm -hmm.